guys what's up welcome to YRR help so in my last video I have shown you how to create a static XML file and in this video I'm going to demonstrate to you how to create a dynamic XML file which is getting data from database itself so here I have included a DB connection page uh, which holds few statements to connect to database and select particular test database and uh, and also this is my database which I'm going to working on uh, it, this is my books table and in my books table I have four columns here uh, which is which the first column name is uh, name and then price and I have four records here so f uh, our PHP script is going to uh, get data from this database and then it's going to generate a XML file so and also I, I have explained a few basic elements like a uh, create element and then uh, and also I have specified another a uh, function like append child in my last video so if you guys haven't checked that I highly recommend you to go and check that video and then come back here so so the first thing is obviously I'm going to fetch the data from database for that I'm going to use my SQL query function so uh, my SQL query well this is nothing related to X XML though this is just an uh, you know queries so here I'm going to write my query that is select star from my table name which is obviously books so now this result I uh, will hold the rows here four rows here and and the next thing is I'm going to create an XML file using Tom document f class T O M T O C U M E N T and in that I'm going to specify version as 1.4 alright now that you have an instance of XML Tom document you can use XML uh, you know uh, functions all right the first thing is the so this is the structure which we are going to create today so this Java and PHP these values are getting dynamically from uh, you know database and apart from that these are going to be just creating elements and then appending appending to parent element so first of all I'm going to create my root element here which is books and XML so as I told you guys uh, these things I have uh, you know, explained in my last video so I'm, go I'm not going to concentrate much on these elements so create element -E create element and then I'm going to specify my element name as books and the next thing is obviously you have to append to the root directory so in this case <coughs> I'm appending to you know XML file itself so I'm going to use append child for that and then the child is obviously book books sorry so now that you have created an XML file and I'm going to use under statement you know which is used to display data to the browser so this XMP tag is used to you know display data in your browser what are the file what are the data which is holding in XML file it's just display in XML format and I'm going to close the tag and you know this is just in reference to display but most of the time you have to save that to your directory so for saving your XML file to your directory you have to use you know save function command and as a parameter you have to pass uh, a file name which can be anything so in this case I'm going to use reports.xml so what's like whatever the data which I'm feeding in my XML file it's going to save in my XML file so this function is used to save to a directory and this 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 one command this one command is to display data to browser so let me quickly check uh, what's going on there so this is my XML3 directory and then when I refresh that well I'm sorry it created some error on line 11 it's create, oh sorry that's a spelling mistake though it's nothing to worry about alright so now you have XML file here if you can notice and when I check in my root directory so I have a report uh, XML file created in my root directory also now let, if I open it and edit note plus you, know, you can see the same thing is he affecting here also so now everything is working fine but the thing is that we have to create a XML file you know which is getting data from database so for that I'm going to use you know 
a fetch or a statement and the and the next thing is guys you know it should be dynamics like so even though this is my skeleton structure of XML so if I have four records in my database you know it should create four books element and if I have two elements it, it, sh it should display only two elements so far that I'm going to use while statement you know to loop through all the records which I have in my table and I'm going to use mysql fetch array function mysql fetch array yeah fetch array and then I'm going to pass this element here result I, I hope you know this uh, you know basic commands to fetch the data from database alright now now we can uh, write this book tags on the name tag so I'm going to quickly create a book tag here book again the same thing guys you're just going to use create element function and then you, and the other function is append child function so those are the only two functions which you're going to use for the most part and then my, my the tag name is book and then next thing is obviously you have to append that to your parent directory in this case the parent directory of this book is books so I'm going to append to book stack so like uh, for newcomers who are getting confused with all this appending and then creating uh, you can check my uh, previous video I think I have specified a link in my description go check that and append child and then in the parameter you have to pass you know child element so, so, so this is child element and this is parent element there's nothing to confuse though so let me quickly check that in my browser well it's working fine let me zoom that well you see you have uh, one books root element and uh, like you have uh, four uh, records here so it created four book stack well but but that's not structured properly it, it it's all embedded in a single line so like for giving that structure look I'm going to write under statement here you know which is used to structure XML data properly so I'm going to use format output property format output is equal to true now this little statement is used to structure your data in a proper way so let me quickly check that yeah it's working fine now see it it's somewhat consolidated in a proper way now 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 that you have created book element the next thing is obviously you're gonna have to create a name XML tag and then you have to append to book element and the one thing you have to notice that this Java and this uh, PHP which is this which is retrieving from database so this Java and PHP so you have to insert the data here alright now I'm going to create uh, name element again the same thing guys is very boring really using same function again and again create element and then I'm going to use name tag and as I told you here you have to pass you know this uh, data which is getting from database so for that I'm going to use this row element alright row and then I'm going to specify my column name here so my column name is name so n a m a name alright and the next thing is don't forget to append that to you know parent directory book create element sorry append child I'm, I'm sorry I'm really sorry append child and then you have to pass that child element here right let me check, check yeah it's working fine as you can notice see you have name element and then you have java which is java php c and javascript so these things are fetching from database so this is what i mean dynamic xml though and though it's uh though it's completed uh we still have to you know create on the price tag uh this is this is just a copy paste thing you don't have to worry about it uh this is price and price this price and then here in my database also I think it's price only yeah it's price so I'm going to use price tag here and then don't forget to change child element here price I hope it works fine now yeah it's working fine as you can see this is the exact structure we want and if I go to my root directory you know you, you can still see the report XML page here 
yeah, where is that? Yeah, here. When you reload it, see this is the XML file which is in my you know local directory, local server directory, and this is the XML file which we are just outputting to browser. So this is so this is the basic thing, guys. You know, uh, if you want, you can still a lot more. You can, you can still do a lot more stuff. And thanks for viewing. So I hope you enjoy a lot. Don't forget to subscribe us.